Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a very chill video. I'm sitting on the floor. I'm still in my sports bra from the gym this morning. It's gonna be a little girly chat type video. Boys, you're gonna wanna stay and pay attention to these things too though, because today's video is going to be 10 attractive things that boys do. So basically like 10 turn-ons for girls. These are kind of more like personal opinion based, I would say, like I just kind of came up with this list on my own. So I'm not saying this is like, all girls like these things because they probably don't all like these things. If you disagree with any of the things I say, comment below. Let me know if you have any other ones you want to add. Help the boys out because Lord knows they need it. <laughs> Number one, this is the most important thing in my opinion and that is being confident without being like overly cocky and arrogant. I can see straight through your bullshit if you're full of yourself like Girls automatically know if you think you're the shit and guys who are like super cocky either come off as super like full of themselves, just like obsessed with themselves or they come off as like very insecure and that's the reason that they like overcompensate kind of. And insecurity is not cute. I'm not saying it's just like confidence and like how you look and everything. It's more that like air of confidence about you. So like how you hold yourself, just like how you treat other people, how you interact, how you act, like just being confident in who you are as a person kind of thing. And just know yourself, know what you want in life, like that kind of confidence, you know, not just like I'm hot as shit, I can get any girl that I want. Cause that's like, Nope. Number two is going to be personal hygiene and like overall cleanliness. If you wash your face, moisturize, use floss, you can get it. Those things aren't girly. Taking care of your skin and your teeth is not girly. That is like basic human hygiene. I don't know why guys think it's like girly or gay to take care of their face and their skin. Like, what? Like who started that? Who came up with that? It's honestly ridiculous. So along with like the cleanliness is like having a clean bedroom. So like making your bed in the morning, the like most basic thing you can do is make your damn bed in the mornings. Don't have clothes everywhere. Just be keep your room clean. It's really not that hard. And of course, smelling nice is always a plus. If you smell nice, I know you like leave a little bit of that scent on me. Like I find if I like hang out with a guy, sometimes my like hair will kind of smell like him after and I'm like, uh. <laughs> mm. oh, I'm fucking sweating. <laughs> Number three, I don't know if this is weird or if it's like just me, let me know. <laughs> but like soft touches. So for example, if I'm like walking through a door and you like put your hand on the small of my back just to like guide me through, just like gently. Or if we're like holding hands and you like gently rub my hand or if we're like cuddling and you just kind of like trace your hands along my arms like along my thigh <sighs> man that literally like gives me chills and it's not like a oh my god i don't want to like bang you kind of way it's more like i feel so like loved and protected right now you know i don't know if i'm weird as shit but into it <laughs> number four is be a good kisser i think this is pretty common sense, but um, kissing is very important. If you're not good at kissing, it's only downhill from there for the other things, right? <laughs> Number five is going to be having goals in life and actually being like passionate about those goals and making a plan to go after those goals. So not just like having this big goal and then not doing anything to get there. So like working towards that goal every day, showing like drive, motivation, dedication, all those things are hot. Number six is going to be, why do I keep saying is going to be after each number? What? It's really annoying, isn't it? Yep. Number six is health. If you didn't know, I am very into health and fitness. If you follow me on Instagram, you know this. Or if you follow my YouTube channel, you know this. If you're new, welcome. So honestly, I find a guy who like takes the gym very seriously, is like super dedicated to the gym, but like also likes to try out new workouts, like outdoor workouts with me and stuff like that. Like that is amazing. Yes, be open to different types of fitness. Like you're just a very fit person. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but 
being very into working out, eating healthy, but also being able to like treat yourself and not being like too overly strict and stuff like that. Just someone who like has that same kind of like lifestyle as me, like it makes sense because it's I'm very much into the health, fitness, but also balance lifestyle. So obviously I would be attracted to someone who also lives that type of lifestyle. And going along with that, when guys, cook for me and like actually enjoy it like they're they want to cook for me and it's like healthy and like creative honestly i think that's yet to happen but i think i would really like that if someone cooked for me <laughs> number seven is banter as they call it in the uk i don't know if us canadians and americans say banter but banter is number seven being able to like make fun of each other and just be like sarcastic like i'm a little shit i will pick on you if i like you and i will be sarcastic and like not mean but you know just like playful number eight is having nice eyes or a nice smile nice smiles make my heart skip a beat honestly <laughs> if you have one of those like super happy smiles you know those people who like smile with their whole face and you can tell that they're like actually super happy they like glow when they smile <sighs> cute 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 and when i say nice eyes i don't mean like they have to be like this vibrant blue or green or like a crazy color i more mean like they have like friendly eyes or like eyes that smile or like happy eyes or like eyes that like look into your soul you know eye contact going along with that eye contact is in all aspects of life number nine is being a non-jealous person i don't know if there's like a opposite to non-jealous would it be like trusting no i I don't know, non-jealous. I hate jealousy and I'm very much not a jealous person. So if you get jealous with me, that's automatically a turn off because that makes me feel like you don't trust me. And trust is one of the most important things in a relationship. And being jealous or controlling of your partner just means you don't trust them, which is not cool. It's kind of a red flag. Actually, it's not kind of, it's very much a red flag. Trust each other, have that open communication, and number 10 is being proud to be with me. Like enjoying showing me off, like taking me out places and being like, yeah, like this is my girl. Like, you know, uh, like introducing me to your friends and family, like not just like keeping me to yourself, you know, like we can go out and be social. You can show me off to the world, like your prized possession. <laughs> like literally just being proud that you're with me. Like, I feel like that's such a friggin' basic thing but it's very important and like girls like to feel appreciated and like we're special to you, not just like another girl, you know? Yeah, those are all 10 of these. This video is gonna be pretty short and sweet. Let me know if you have anything else you wanna add, comment below. I totally wanna hear what you guys have to say. And let me know if you disagree with any of these. If you're like, Gabs, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more like sit down chats like this that aren't like directly related to fitness. Thanks for watching guys.